Hi, it's Tom from Green Shorts, and I'm here in my backyard at what we call Rocket Stove Row. And today, I'm going to cook some eggs on the Rocket King. Stay tuned. Welcome back, subscribers. If you haven't joined us yet, you can do so by clicking on the Green Shorts icon that's going to appear in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen throughout the video. I'm going to be doing a half dozen eggs today, which is a good fit for this 1.1 liter Halolite boiler pot from GSI Outdoors. I found a nice level spot to put the rocket stove, but because by design a rocket stove is tall and narrow to get the chimney effect going and the fact that we'll be adding a pot of water to the top of it, I've designed the tab in the back here with a hole for a tent stake to be added. This will help us anchor the stove to the ground, keep it stable while we're cooking. I don't want it pulling the stove down just enough that it will keep it from tipping. I left my rocket stove out in the elements after its first firing because I kind of want to see what kind of patina forms on the outside with rust and how that affects the life of the stove. I am going to experiment with some high temperature paint but I want to see what the rust does first. That may actually be an easier finish to maintain given the heat that the stove endures. I'm starting this stove up. I will load it from the top a little bit. Just kind of get that burn going. But once it's going, I'll only load it from the front. One of the principles of efficient stove design is to just burn the tip of the wood as it's going in. Incidentally, my, my wife grabbed some matches for me from the pantry. And this was actually a matchbook from our first date. I think it's still got some spark. Yep, she still lights my fire. Probably could have done with a little less newspaper on the start. The ash kind of clogs up the airflow, slows that down, which we don't want. Alright, why it's a little smoky still. bubbling in the water already. I had a commenter, Nina McRae, suggest a different method for cooking eggs. We put the eggs into cool water, bring it to a boil, let it boil for five minutes, and then let it rest for another five before adding cold water to stop the cooking process. And that will use a lot less fuel, so we'll be using Nina's method for this boil. Thanks Nina for your suggestion. I also had someone call me out on the test firing of this stove that if I was using a fan, then it wasn't really a rocket stove. So I would definitely consider the fan to be supplemental versus uh, you can see that the stove is drawing pretty well without the fan. I like using the fan just because it can boost, boost that fire, but uh, I won't be using the fan for this cooking process just to see how it does without the fan. Not quite to that boil yet. Got one cracked egg in there.
now we're talking. All right, we'll start the clock. Stopping here, let's take it off the fire. And then we're gonna let it rest for five minutes. Alright, so our eggs are done cooking, and I've got a couple of lunches there waiting for me. I may even make some egg salad. One thing I noticed with this particular burn is that when the pot was on the top of the stove, it decreased the draw, in other words, the airflow wasn't as good. One thing I might do to modify the design is to notch out the grooves here a little bit bigger so our airflow continues to move up and around the pot, pull that heat up with it. But for now, I'm pretty pleased with how the stove did. If you're interested in building the Rocket King rocket stove yourself, I've got plans for sale on my website for $2.99. Make sure you watch the build video first. If you've already purchased the plans, thank you. Any future modifications to the design will be provided to you free of charge. Thank you for helping support this channel. Thanks for all your comments on these rocket stove videos. I'm going to use them to make this stove and these other stoves better. One of the things I love about YouTube is our ability to interact as a community and to offer suggestions and improvements. As always, our mission here at Green Shorts is to help you see green so you can be green. And save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share and subscribe for a new DIY video almost every Friday.